how to turn Dollar Tree plastic bins into an exquisite bench. Hey guys, Eat of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree plastic bins and I will be turning them into a bench. Now, the question that you will all have in your minds would be, how do you make bins that are not sturdy at all into something you can sit on? But what I'm gonna do is stack them up together and get the height that I want and attach something strong in the middle. I'll be using this piece of wood here. Now, another question would be, how do you make the wood stay sturdy enough inside so it doesn't wobble or shake? And how is it gonna fortify what I'm about to make? Well, I'll be cutting up the base of the bins like this, diagonally, and the opening will be where I'll be inserting the piece of wood. I'll be making the hole with a sharp utility knife. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. You can also use a soldering iron to make the holes, but because I don't know where my soldering iron is, I had to use a utility knife that still worked just as good. Now that I have exactly what I want, I'm gonna be using a strong construction adhesive to add all the pieces together, including the wood in the middle. You can see that the wood that I put here in the middle was put in a slanty position. Meanwhile, I stacked up another set of bins and the wood in the middle was inserted straight instead of slanted. This is going to be in the middle. So I have three, two by the sides here that are slanted and then one in the middle that's straight. I have a board here that's going to be attached at the back so that all the three bins can be held together when it's being moved. I'm also going to be using zip ties to hold all the bins together as well. It's really important that all the bins stay together when they're being moved. So the zip ties here in front is going to help me to make sure that the bins in front are all together when they're being moved. Because of the bright colors, you can simply just clean it up and add a pad on top and you've made a bench fit for kids. Now, because I'm going to use it myself, I took it out and I spray painted it silver. And I'm also going to be covering the front. I measured the front and now I'm going to be covering it up with foam board that will be covered with fabric. And then I'll attach it to the bench with a construction adhesive. The board touches just the lip of the bins, so that's where I'll be applying the construction adhesive.
I'm gonna let this set for a few hours and then add some other embellishment to the front. This is a bling wrap, so I'll be cutting shapes of how the front of the bins look by the sides before they were covered. So I got the measurements from the openings by the sides. This is just a decorative embellishment that I'll be putting here and I'm also going to be adding this that I got from Hobby Lobby. For the top of the bench, I simply just covered a piece of wood with foam, batting and fabric. I just placed this on top of the bench that I made, but I'll recommend that you attach it firmly to the bench so that it doesn't move around. There's also storage by the sides because the bins that are at the top and at the bottom are not accessible, but then you can access the ones that are in the middle that gave some form of storage. So on both sides of the bench, you can store little items inside. I was trying to figure out what to do to the lip of the bin that was looking really bare and not so good to the eyes. Well, that's for me anyway. So what I did was to cover the lip of the bin with little strips of bling wrap. What I have here is not permanent. I was just trying to figure out a design to put in front of the bench. So I used that to see what it was going to look like. Like I said earlier, the bins come with beautiful colors that can be left the way they are and will be perfect for kids. Considering the size, the bench is super sturdy and well balanced as well. I covered just the front of the bench with fabric because of where I'll be having this, but if you're going to keep this in a position where the back will be seen, then you're going to have to cover the back with fabric as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.